So we get underway. Round one between St Kilda and Geelong. Barnes wins in the middle, down to Couch. A hurried left footer out of the centre square. They're at centre half forward already. Clever by Scott. The hand pass wasn't too flash. Goes to Steele, the ex-North Melbourne player. Bumped over. Couch in there again. Steele with a little hand pass in to Buse. On to Barnes. Trouble. Here comes Winmar. Burke tidies up for St Kilda. Bumped off it. Comes back to Nicky Winmar. Just gets the kick away. Up short of half forward. Hinkley with Harvey. That's a star match duel there. Hickmott to Hinkley. The whistle's gone. And the free kick will go to Hickmott, who's playing just his fourth senior game. And was very good in the finals last year, Drew. Well, was he very impressive, I should say. No one stood the mark. He boots it down towards centre half forward. Off hands, it falls behind. Whitman, plenty of time. Devonport in short. It carries, and the mark is held on the wing by number 21, and that's Burke. Towards centre wing. This is Buse. Does nicely in a tight situation. Runs away from the wing and boots it back inside the attacking 50. Mansfield didn't have it. Trying to go up the ground with Shanahan. Butt is up again. Legs flailing. This is Frawley from half back. High floater back towards the wing. Look out. No, Burke stood his ground well and took the mark. Nathan Burke, the defensive side of right centre wing for the Saints. No score as yet. Goes across the ground. Hinkley and Harvey. That'll be interesting if they stay on each other. Hickmock goes down. Got a whistle and the ball up alongside the centre circle. As you see Chris Whitman, a former Hawthorne player in the back pocket. He was a dispute with that club last year. Left halfway through the year. Played mainly as a ruck rover half forward, but lining up for St Kilda in the back pocket. Ball up near the centre. Simpson against his old team. Gets a little kick, but goes straight to Burke. The kick by Burke to low at full forward. Stoneham is his opponent. And Stewie Lowe very safe overhead and on the chest. Interesting, Brownless is in defence. Short pass to Harvey, and Hinkley gave him a bit of room there. And what a duel this should be. Ken Hinkley, runner-up in the Brownlow last year. And Robert Harvey, many tip might win a Brownlow one day, if not even this year. Marginally closer to Robert Harvey than what Stuart Lowe was to goal. They were both All-Australians last year. The kick for goal by Harvey is offline. And through for a behind, the first score of the game. Gary Ablett there on the bench with Mark Besto, the Geelong skipper. So what talent is missing today for the Cats? Not a bad combo. Stoneham, member's side with a kick. Barnes, almost a spectacular mark. Simpson couldn't control it. This is Winmar, held without it. Well done, umpire. I hope they're consistent with that interpretation today. Winmar, about 60 metres from goal. Low on the lead. He attempts the long bomb. All Geelong back there, but wide of Barnes. It bounces towards the boundary line. Everett comes around, gathers it, but not in time. And it will be thrown in. St Kilda are behind. Chris Whitman and Hawking together. The Cats are yet to score. Taylor went to ground. McGrath wrenches the ball out and will have a ball up. Sean Ralph Smith. It's Tim McGrath. Played 26 matches, all of them, for Geelong last season. One of only two players. Harvey running out of time and space. Was he held without it? Yes, he was, says the umpire. Well, that rule has changed in the last few seasons. Harvey had the ball, tossed it away, was held a long time in the tackle and still got the free. Kicks into the man on the mark directly. Pushing the back surely to Hawking. He'll get the free kick in the pocket. No, held to him, says the umpire. And the ball up. Well, in all fairness to the umpire, he was just caught behind a player and actually didn't see the tackle laid by Lowe. Not a great ball up by the umpire. Ralph Smith gets the hand pass to Harvey. His kick along the ground. It bounces up and sits nicely. Hand pass by Taylor. And a shot for goal is taken by Arsiri, and he's kicked his first goal for the Saints. Well, Mark Arsiri wearing number 16, number worn by Adrian Fletcher last year, who's now found himself elsewhere. 
a lot of players do transfer. A series started at North Melbourne. Carlton just couldn't get a go at Carlton, but this is what he does well. Up on the forward line and kicking goals. He's got a weakness. It's up the ground around the packs. It'll be a handy acquisition. Back in the middle, Barnes gets it down. This is Harvey. Busy early. Now towards half forward. McGrath left it behind. Arsiri lays it off. Back to Harvey again, really in the thick of things. Anderson didn't control the ball. Should have got a free. Nothing doing. Down goes Arsiri. Picked up by Lowell. Almost met very solidly by McGrath. Down he went. Play goes on. McGrath again with Anderson. Hocking. Away they come through Steele. Towards the other side wing. Falls behind. Opportunity for Scott. Knocked it away. Taken by Handley, socket off the ground by Hickbot towards the boundary line. Now an opportunity. Peckett's hand pass towards the boundary, but in the meantime, it's going to be a Geelong free kick. Interesting to see Stewie Lowe get straight to his feet after that uh, clash with McGrath. It's good stuff, Lowe. Kick by Hickmott. Short of full forward. Huge pack. Gary Hocking front. Left foot snap, a beauty! There he is, number 32. He did that so well. Geelong's first goal for the season. And the way that he just put that onto his boot, just watch this, he held the ball across the body. Very, very well done. Hit it on the outside point and brought the ball back. That was a classy goal because normally he's a right foot kick. Very talented player is Gary Hocking. Well, we made the comment last night at the MCG, the skills so early in the season, and fancy kicking a goal like that in round one. Hocking, fantastic. Gets the hand pass back to Steele. The kick by Steele to centre half forward on the bounce. Oh, what a pick up by Mench. He goes back to Couch. He's cornered off to Mench. 50 metres out, and Mench kicks another one. David Mensch really did attack that ball properly. That's the way you like to see forwards, even Backman attack the ball. Watch how he came out, full steam, then lays it off. Couch in a little bit of trouble here, but gets it back to Mensch, who finds himself in a ton of space. And that's a good kick, more or less a standing start, 48 metres out. Can't lead by five points, back in the middle. Everett comes with the run and wins it down. Morris knocks it on towards centre half forward. Ralph Smith goes to ground, taken by Winmar, about 60 metres out from goal, Nicky Winmar. High floating kick down towards the pocket. Arsiri works his way in front, knocked away by Hocking. This is Stoneham on the burst. Out of the back pocket, well shepherded by Hinkley, drives it back towards the wing. Peckett was holding on. It was held. Being held. So he got the free. Devonport towards half forward not a good kick Ralph Smith also on the forward line they've certainly thrown their side around the Saints Ralph Smith did well got it to Burke who boots it inside the 50 full chested low couldn't control it intended for Taylor but too quick too slick out of bounds he could have done a little bit better with that Stewie Lowe a player of his experience he should have had a little bit of empathy for Lowe running past and not try to drill him with the ball Barnes from behind Morris takes it out in front of goal this one all Geelong and there's Brownless. We've got Brownless playing defence and Stoneham in defence. Mensch on the forward line. The kick by Stoneham to centre half forward. Whistle's gone. Another St Kilda free kick. Man being held out and not in possession. And Devonport will take the free kick. Obviously they want a little bit of run from half back. That's why they've got Devonport there. He's a talented player. Freeze four to two in favour of St Kilda. Good kick to Everett. 60 metres out. Not a good kick by him. Dive by Barnes. Nearly off the ground, Arsiri, almost in danger. Stoneham. Hocking gave it straight to Arsiri, but kicks Mothered. Comes back to Everett. Look at the clash of bodies. That was couch against Everett, David and Goliath. Arsiri goes backwards. Hurried kick for goal. Has it made it? It got the distance. Dean Anderson, the ex-Hawk. It was a good play by Lowe in the goal square. He definitely could have put a hand up. Instead, he used his body, kept the two Geelong players out, and here's Anderson, a quick one by Arsiri. Snap over the left shoulder. 
valiant attempt by Stoneham, but he just couldn't get this to ball. St Kilda by a point then, Everett decisively. That was well done down to Burke, who boots it towards half forward. With Dash, this is Steele. That was the half forward line for the Cats then. Bingham goes back, interfered in front. It was going to be a free kick to Handley. Advantage is paid. The cross it came from Buse. Hickmott over the top. Scott now 35 metres out from goal was taken high. He'll get a free kick. It's against Plickett, the youngster. Pickett. There he is on screen, left to screen. So Robert Scott directly in front. A chance to put the Cats back in front. 13 players, 12 at the present time. See there on replay, Pickett. Interesting pickup. He's 49 in the 1992 March draft. Good pickup by St Kilda. Scott, who kicked 42 goals last season, gets his first of the new season. The Cats lead by five points. Well, he's had problems this uh, pre-season, Robert Scott, with a hamstring. His first practice game was last week. So he's a little underdone in hard and match practice. But he's a talented player. Playing on the half-forward line. Barnes charges at Everett. It comes to Hocking. Kicked by Gary Hocking, well inside the 50. Bingham is there to out Mark Handley. Bingham named it centre-half forward, playing centre-half back. Out to Burke. Kicked by Burke to centre wing. Morris flies in front. Should have taken the mark. May have got it free, should have got the free kick. Scott to Hocking. A centering kick. Chance for Handley. Knocks it down to Mansfield. He burns them off. Oh, he didn't see the tackler coming. Riccardi. 21 for St Kilda. Darren Burke did well twice there. That comes to Couch on his favourite left foot. And there's nobody there. And the mark taken by Shanahan. Out to Winmar at half-back flank. And he takes the mark. Nicky Winmar. He's looking for Russell Morris, Dennis. And Morris is not too good because after he flew for that mark, Brownless crashed into him. It took a while for him to get up on his feet. That's why Winmar is hesitating. He goes in that direction. And Morris, give him his due, was in front again. This is Ralph Smith towards the boundary line. Has it slapped away. McGrath to Couch. Winmar got in. Ball jarred loose. Well done by Couch to Simpson to McGrath. Forward at the wing. Probing kick inside the attacking 50. Shanahan did nicely. It spills wide though. Mansfield wanting his left side. St Kilda didn't read it too well. Scrambles a kick towards the pocket. Handley at close quarters to Hocking. He's already got one. Hickmott with space. 20 metres out, shocking effort. It floats towards the boundary, out of bounds, I fancy, on the full. It was the boundary umpire in perfect position. So Crawley to take the result in free and goes in short to Devonport, but what a golden opportunity missed by the Cats there. Yes. He's normally a, right, a left foot kick. He was forced onto his right foot that time. Gilbert McAdam goes for a run, straight up the centre corridor, on the bounce to Morris himself against Hockey. Harvey. Hand pass was touched. Riccardi in there. Loses ground. Views. Well done by Andrew Views. Now Ken Hinkley has some space. Both club best and fairest on each other today. Hinkley and Harvey. Well done, Hinkley. Inside the 50. Punched down by Devonport. Peckett comes to Scott. A high ball. Two against two. High climb by uh, Mansfield. Went up early and interfered and gave away the free. Good decision by the umpire because he really didn't have any intention of the ball, Mansfield. Shanahan. This is Whitman. Kicks through the centre. Simpson judged it very nicely. Good mark. Formerly played for the Saints. Kind of woods half forward. Hackett reaching over the top. Took the mark. Centre half back. Peckett swings it wide towards the wing. Winmar meters in the clear. Plays on immediately. Chips it down towards half forward as Siri. Two former teammates there at North. Steele and our Siri. Morris took his eye off the ball. Slapped away by Hocking. McGraw won't. He went in solidly. Winmar breaks away though. 
Goes long, intended for Everett in best position. Well done by Barnes to go back and crowd him. Ralph Smith, it was a present. It landed in his arms, he kicks a goal. Well, we've always sung the praise of Nicky Winmar, and the way he delivered that ball then was really to perfection. He put it out wide. Here it is, he breaks the tackle. Put it out to Everett, he just couldn't get there. A good effort by Barnes, but here's Ralph Smith. Plays on the half-back line. It's interesting you see him on this half-forward line, formerly of Hawthorne. Adds a little bit of flair to that half-back line when he does play there, Ralph Smith. But his first. Everett beats Barnes in the middle. Brownless. Couch takes it for Geelong. Beautiful hand pass to Pews. Tucks it under the arm and away he goes. To full forward. Shanahan in front. And out marks Mitch. 31, playing on 31. Kick by Shanahan to Burke. Two Burks in the side. This is Nathan Burke away to Harvey. What a great kick by Harvey. He just popped that one up in the air. Made the spoil a little bit easier for McGrath. Taylor. Hand pass to Ralph Smith. Well, he did well. He's going to get the free. On he goes to Burke. And the ex-Dandenong player goes for goal, but he's away to the left with that one and brings up a behind, Darren Burke. His father, Drew, played for Melbourne in the 60s. Barry Burke also played in the premiership side there. And young Burke tried out at Melbourne, played in the seconds and uh, under-19s, but just couldn't crack it. Stoneham kicks in, off-hands, it falls behind. Ralph Smith, very busy, gives a contest on the forward line, looking good. He gets it to Morris, intended for low. He's got it in the right full forward pocket. Robert Scott going off for Geelong. Coming on, number 33, Darren Forsman. Tight angle, as you can see. Stewie Lowe. This to increase the lead to eight points. Right across the face. Out of bounds in the opposite pocket. Neil will take the kick. 3-2, three, three goals. Saints lead. Ablett missing for the Cats today. A late-minute exclusion. The ball goes to the outer side. Barnes was up and has paid the mark. Kick by Barnes towards the centre of the ground. Punch from Devonport. Goes to Winmar. His hand pass is good to Taylor. On the run, Anderson kicked a goal already. For low, and Stoneham, surprisingly, has given Lowe a bit of uh, room to move. He pops it to Winmar, but has doubled up for his second possession in the movement. Now, Stewie Lowe, as we all know, is a man who needs to be marked pretty closely. Barry Stoneham, you would think, is a player to do the job, but so far, Lowe has... Uh, led him a merry dance and Nicky Winmar going particularly well with seven disposals already this will be number eight St Kilda by two points and now by three points disappointing result there there's the time remaining as Mark Biesto looks on Harry Stoneham to bring it in Big crowd at Cadinia Park for the season's opener. There's Barnes offering a lead towards the middle. Good kick too. Barnes the mark plays on immediately. McGrath bursting away from half back towards half forward. Oh, Bingham, that was a good one. Very well done. Whitman. Little chip pass out wide. Morris. So three former Hawks combining there as he centers the ball. Low almost. Arsiri behind. Lays it off. Everett. Natural side. Puts it through. Well, he's playing well, Everett. He's getting down on that forward line. And obviously, it's a ploy for him as soon as he's done his ruck work to get around half forward because he's been down there most of the first quarter after he's done his ruck work. That's a good effort from the big fellow who was very impressive against the West Coast Eagles. Maybe he should open up his hand at the centre bounce as he goes the fist all the time. He's a tall fellow, six foot eight. And maybe if you just open up his hand, he'd get a couple of inches higher. Everett wins in the middle after kicking the goal. Down to Burke. 
short of the 50. K Kane Taylor doing all right. Winmar absolutely starry. Low and Stoneham again. What a duel. Low can't mark one-handed, but applies a punching tackle. Down goes Stoneham. They box on a bit afterwards. Hickmott off the ground. And McGrath and the ball out of bounds, and we'll have a throw in. Well, a strong tackle, wasn't it? Of course, a beauty. You can hear the <laughs> air being knocked out of Stewie Low there. Of Stoneham. Now Barnes, Winmar in the hard thing again. I might have to sort this out. Well, this is a bit of a surprise. There's no win, no advantage, and St Kilda lead 27 to 18. And you wouldn't have backed them with counterfeit money going into the game. Wait for the bounce. Right half forward. Before the draw there, it falls at their feet. Hocking, running out of space. Anderson nabs him right on the line. They spill across the line. We'll have a throw in. Plenty of desperation on the Saints forward line at the present time. They've gone for a couple of players who normally play in defence, Ralph Smith and Taylor. And they're trying to apply pressure down there. And for the most part so far, it's succeeding. McGrath's hand pass not good. Winmar, who's been superb, chips it around the corner. Ralph Smith again, Harvey outside, a little slow to release the ball. Oh, but he had one on track. hawking has got the free kick. Yeah, the spirit of it is you're supposed to give him a chance to get rid of it. Hawking, Barnes the leaper, steal, nicely done. Now a great chance for the Cats. Hawking's away, got it from his brother and goes in short to Handley on the 50. Riccardi storms on down the ground, it must go to him. Well, Handley too slow, goes long down towards full court. Has it got the carry? Not quite. Crawley, hands up in the air, did well, touches it through. Well, Dennis called it then because what Riccardi did was run on into the left forward pocket. He was there a long time. And Hanley really could have popped it across. He was a long way out to kick then. Nathan Burke in the back pocket. Well, the six Geelong forwards, I'd like to add up their league goals between them. It's not really the star-studded cat forward line we've come to expect. Here's Justin Peckett. Up towards half forward. Hinkley leads the race. Comes to Morris. He can go over the top of the hand pass to low, but he beats a man. Should have kicked the goal and missed. Probably should have gone over the top first. Lowe was giving him a pretty good-looking target. It's 4-4 four, four to three goals, one. Stoneham, a long way out of the square as he kicked that. Umpire yeah. ignores it. Ball on the other side. Barnes couldn't handle it. McAdam, charged down by Barnes, who's very agile for a big man. McAdam got him, though. Great pressure again by the Saints as Burke boots it in towards centre half forward. Well done by Everett. Riccardi goes back, shrugs the tackle, comes away with poise. Riccardi. Boots it down towards half forward. Bingham, who's playing very well, took a clever mark. Full stretch, and there's a bit to stretch. Bingham. Ralph Smith, almost a clever one. Two very hard bodies there, Ralph Smith and McGrath. Down goes Steele. Burke held by the arm, no free kick. And the ball up. We'll be looking at a change of those in the Geelong camp at centre half forward. Bingham doing well there. Maybe Brownless can go up there, Handley, change yeah. centre-half back, centre-half forward. Crying out to Brownless on the forward line. Looks like a man completely at sea there. Down goes Nathan Burke, and he's hurt behind play, having got the kick. Hinkley, meantime, comes away. Goes over the top to Steele. Steele pops it out further afield to Simpson. Simpson draws a man and goes long. A leading Mansfield. Whoa! Views. Goes for goal and misses. Very interesting indication by the umpire. He indicated holding the man. It wasn't for a push in the back. Well, he was holding him. That's pretty good policy because he had the ball. What's the umpire if we get a look at him as he runs across? He's roping the pack well. The only one that stayed down. The umpire right of screen. Really, I didn't think there was much in that. Hughes gets a second chance and kicks it. Scotty, the Geelong forward line is Buse, Mench, Mansfield, Hickmott, Handley, and Forsman. Buse would be the only bloke who's kicked uh, any amount of league goals. The rest yeah. wouldn't have 40 between them. Well, it's interesting, isn't it, when you've got Brownless and Stoneham down the other end of the ground. 
forwards really are not made. They're talented players. They're the most talented in the side and uh, takes a good player to play up from the forward line. And they've got two of them on the back line. Nathan Burke, worse for wear, down in the forward pocket at the present time, having a rest. So Winmar comes up onto the wing. This is McAdam, meantime, to peck it. St Kilda trying very hard. This is Devonport across half back. Comes across the ground. Too much carry though for Taylor. Now they've got a problem. Slapped away by Riccardi. Knocked on by Beers. Taken by Whitman. Whitman towards centre half forward. Billy lagging behind again. Ralph Smith over the ball. He's adapted well to the forward line. Burke down towards his namesake and Winmar. They've got a two on one situation here, but the ball goes out of bounds. Well, they needed to exploit that. Now Winmar goes back and has a word. And then some to Neil, who will not yield. Boundary throw in. Barnes in front. Everett over the top with finesse, if you don't mind. Hooks it back towards the kickoff line. Where's low? Got hands to it. Arsiri. Held a long time in the tackle. Will get the free kick. And now Burke and Stoneham in something of a mismatch. Then again, Burke's got the headgear. Free kick to our Siri directly in front. He's kicked one. Just missed it, but I thought our Siri had it in his control initially and dropped the ball. He's kicked the goal. Well, I was talking about that before, Don. Certainly that will has changed in the last three or four seasons. Well, they, they interpret it differently. Yeah. We might get it a little earlier, but uh, he did the pack well then, roved it well, our Siri. Now here's the friend. Now watch our Siri left the screen. There, did he have control when he picked it up? Well, he didn't try and kick it, did he? Just let it fall. Really, it was a great tackle. Well, I've just done the homework on the Geelong forward line. Hughes 130 goals, and the other five have 86 between them. A bit more than 40. But it's not your Brownless and uh, Stoneham. And you never stop. Bounce faces Everett. Actually, Hockey might have beaten him. Barnes slaps it out. Goes to Forsman. On the run here is Steele. He goes for goal. And he kicks up Bob. Well, there's hardly a team in the league who can kick a goal quicker out of a set of bounce than Geelong. No matter who's on the forward line. Well, there he is, Darren Steele. Cleared from North Melbourne. A lot of North Melbourne players here at Geelong. McGrath on the back flank started at North Melbourne. Lee Tudor, who's injured, also started at North Melbourne. They had another fellow, um, McNamara, that I picked up last year. He's since been cleared. Another North Melbourne player, Geelong. So they, they've got a liking for North Melbourne players, Geelong. Just over two and a half minutes till quarter time. Barnes goes up and at the second attempt slaps it down towards centre half forward. It's not. Does nicely. Couch. Well played to Hawking. Can Geelong grab the quarter time lead? There's another goal. Hawking gets his second. Waning goals at Cadinia Park. Geelong lead 6 1 to 5 4. Not, to my mind, a true reflection on the first turn. No, but it often happens so often, doesn't it? The one team struggles, not struggles, but uses the ball, has it in possession, as St Kilda have had. It's Geelong when they go forward. Mr. Bill capitalised. Liam Pickering is another fellow, fellow from Mr. North Melbourne, I admitted before. Kippings. He's down here at Geelong now, so there's five of them in the past two years. With a great goal again by Hockey. Back in the centre, and the Cats leading by three points. Two minutes remaining to quarter time. Simpson clears the centre square. Winmar's had an outstanding first quarter, gets a bad bounce this time. Taylor's also done very well for the Saints. His kick high to centre half forward. Oh. Brownless cannot get a touch. And the free kick is going to McGrath, who was the uh, second best and fairest last year. Runner-up and the best and fairest last year. Malcolm Blight showed confidence in him, and he delivered the goods. No mark this time. There's Barnes looking for Riccardi. Oh, well done by uh, the new boy Peckett. Whitman taken out of bounds by Buse. And we'll have a throw in. And you talk about the North Melbourne influence at Geelong. What about the Hawthorne influence at St Kilda? <laughs> I've taken about three teams from Hawthorne. 
Well, five players. Right? Yeah, five players playing today, Drew, as Everett gets it down, taken by Burke, who boots it towards half forward. Brownless. Oh, dear. Well, without the wisdom of playing him at centre half back, he's lacking confidence now, too. A free kick is going to Long's way out of all of that. And Couch will take it. He took a little more. Really, centre half back's the easiest position on the ground to play. And Brownless not doing so well at it. Yes, he'll get a dispute, I think, from Billy at the present time. Handley to Forsman. That's a good-looking kick down towards full forward. Going back, it's touched just outside the line by Frawley, falling off balance. And that was enough to force the behind. 6-2 Geelong, 5-4 St Kilda. Shanahan was a real surprise last year for St Kilda. Ex-Tasmanian had a great season. Kicks it every oh. good mark. He is impressive, isn't he? Oh, gee, that was a beauty. Look at Winmar offering space. Shows a clean pair of heels to Riccardi. They close the gap, nevertheless. Morris in front. Brownless this time. Second touch, Billy. The hand pass is all right to Simpson. Kicked by Simpson. Time running out. 13 seconds left. Geelong need the ball here. And a quick kick. Steve Hocking goes back to Barnes. This needs to be a mark. Mench with Shanahan. No mark. Mansfield. Siren will beat him. Well, they came back well late in the quarter, Geelong. St Kilda flogged them early, but Geelong have the lead. 6-2 to 5-4. These two finalists from last season looking for the fast start this year. Geelong runner running out, making a change before the ball's bounce. He's usually bringing up Hinkley onto the half-back flank. And Steele has been shifted off Anderson who, on the half-back flank. He's gone into the back pocket on Arsiri. Two former teammates at North Melbourne then. All front up. Ryan Sheehan, patient. Sends us on our way. Second term, Cadinia Park. On the cloudy skies. Everett goes up and wins it down. Knocked away by Hocking from Burke. Peckett running towards the wing. Swings it down towards half forward. Taylor, full chested. Good mark. He's been impressive. Normally, a defensive player. Kicks inside the attacking 50. Low comes on the lead. Splits the pack. It falls behind McAdam. Question of accuracy. And misses to the near side. The Saints creep closer. Roving by McAdam, intelligent play because low is always going to go for the mark and what the defenders will do predictably will punch it away. If you get down, the ball will usually come, as McAdam did on that occasion. Big kick by Stoneham, the acting skipper. Comes to the back. Harvey's gone onto the ball now, which forced the change with Hinkley before the uh, bounce to start the quarter. Here's Robert Harvey. And the ball's out of bounds. The hand pass coming to a man who was actually over the boundary line. Well, Robert Harvey, when he's up in amongst the engine room, can just about win a game for you. And, uh, well, he could be set for a great season. Here's Buse. His hand pass to Couch. Works round onto his left. Kicks down towards the pocket. Mansfield in front. Good ball by Frawley. Good tackle by Mansfield. And the ball out of play. The throw in. Danny Frawley. Battled. McKilly's injury during the off-season. Great to see him back. Handley in front. Bingham behind. Bingham slaps it wide. Peckett breaks away. And boots it towards the wing. Interesting this. Barnes and Everett. Oh. Everett pushed him in the back. Oh, come back to right on the spot then. They're only going at half pace. John Barnes on that occasion. Boots it down towards half forward. Handley comes on the lead. Drop the mark. Forsman going nowhere. This is Harvey. Seventh possession. Boots it back towards the wing. McGrath. Claimed from behind by Ralph Smith. Jarred free the ball. He gathers it again. Wheels around onto the right boot and centers it. Good work. Coming back with courage there is Devonport. Likewise in the opposite direction. Whitman showed a bit too. This is Nathan Burke coming away from half back. Towards half forward. Our Siri lets it bounce. Controlled it pretty well. Mark Arsiri kicks inside the 50. Morris will need to go. Did well. Stewie Lowe dashing towards the goal square. Morris will be tested by the distance here. And 
now all the forwards covered. Brown was standing the mark, so Morris will need a bit of elevation on the kick if he gets too close to him. And his distance is 50 metres. Well, he went for distance and hooked it for a point. Made the distance, no worries at all, but missed by a long way left. Two points the margin, Cats in front. Big crowd at Cadinia Park. People starved the football over the summer, couldn't wait for the start of the season proper. St Kilda hardly won a practice game. Both went out in the first round of the Foster's Cup. Oh, here's Brownless. Knocked out of his arms by Morris. The ball underfoot, and now a ball up. Clash of heads there. Brownless and Nathan Burke. Six two five six. The early going of the second term. Barnes up very early. Says Couch didn't have it. He'll get the free. Forward of right half back. Paul Couch. Very high kick down towards centre half forward. Handley works his way in front. Bingham has generally been the master there. Runs on. Applies a tackle on Riccardi and emerges with the footy. But down he went. Hickbot's hand pass straight up in the air, slapped by Burke, and out of mid-air, he did very well to get up and kick it down towards half forward. Hinkley goes back with some time, Hinkley, on the outer side to Couch, the man who uses the ball so well. Didn't look that time, though, as he boots it down towards centre half forward. Bingham again, Hickbot, right on the 50, goes to the pocket, Mensch on the lead. Good play. Hickmont, as I said, very impressive in the finals last year. Spots Minch. Minch kicks truly. His second. It's an interesting setup that half forward line of Geelong. Maybe they try getting Handley off the ground. You've got Willison and Forsman on the bench. There will be no harm in trying, say, a quicker small player at centre-half forward because uh, that might upset Bingham. Because he's... Uh, he isn't much flair, Bingham, and he's still beating Handley because Handley's very predictable. Cats by eight points. Well, Winmar had it spent before he got it. And the umpire will ball it up. Nicky Winmar was spectacular in the first quarter. He's had 11 possessions already. Bounce favours Barnes. Backhander gains about 20 metres. Here's Winmar. That's his 11th kick. Out wide to the wing. McAdam. Winmar had too much on that kick. Out of bounds on the full. Free kick to Simpson. John Simpson out of side, told to play on now. As he boots it down towards centre half forward, Bingham in front again. He's doing very well at centre half back. Hocking, long bomb down towards the kickoff line. Shanahan was held, no free kick. He goes after it, outnumbered. Assistance eventually rendered by Whitman, who hand passes towards the boundary line. Throw it in, says the umpire. Well, he's definitely intended the ball to go over the boundary line. Very lucky not to be paid the penalty then, Whitman. Got the right angle on it though, Don, didn't he? 45 degrees or so. Burke at close quarters sends Devonport away. He runs up towards the middle and then some. Three bounces, Devonport. Probing kick inside the 50. Steele goes back with courage and takes the mark. Steele. Barnes now. Forward of half back. Decides to go for a run with McGrath shepherding. McGrath and Everett tangle behind play. Barnes oblivious to all of that. Kicks it directly to Bingham, who's starring now. And the hand pass out to Devonport. Still recovering from that long run, so he delivers the kick early this time to Ralph Smith. His kick to centre-half forward. Clears the pack. Morris the only chance for St Kilda. First back there is Hinkley. Here's McGrath again. Marks well. He and Everett had a bit of a to-do after the ball disappeared last time. He was Barnes, gone, Barnes. He took a step. Oh. Winmar very quick to apply the tackle. Barnes, oh! Kicks it along the ground. Winmar, another chance. And gives away the free kick, Nicky Winmar. 
to Steve Hawking, hurriedly off the left boot. Bouncing near the centre. Nathan Burke does well. Ralph Smith out to Harvey. Harvey switches direction to Devonport. He can go for another run. Loves kicking a goal, Devonport. He goes long. Anderson is there. Low as well. Off the ground, Stewie Low. Did he get a boot to it? He tried. Twice. Might never get a better chance. One. Two. Maybe third time could have been lucky. <laughs> we kicked the spectator. This is Stoneham. Member side with a kick. Winmar in from the side. It falls behind. And they've got the numbers. This is Willison, the boy from East Perth, in trouble. Well, it stayed in. That's clever. This is Harvey who carries it across. It'll be thrown in. So a good game of football, this. Geelong 7-2. The Saints are 5-7. And Kilda need the next goal. Barnes in front. Everett feeling the pinch a bit at the present time. Views hard against the boundary line. And crashes into the fence. And now he and Whitman get involved. Meantime, over the ball, it's Peckett. It's on, on the, over the boundary line. Whitman and Views, they're fighting. There it is. The umpire has gone over. That's the emergency umpire. A couple of punches thrown too. This is every report because wrestling is now a reportable offence. Dobber. Free kick to Morris. Oh, just about the dressing room. You'd think he'd get away with it that far off the ground. <laughs> Wasn't a bad stash as they go though. This is Morris on the wing. Close to the boundary line. Oh, low. Yeah, it was courage with the fence looming. Let's go back to the fight. Views and Whitman. Not one connected. Nah, it's Ooh, that a one wrestle might've. at best, isn't it? That's all right. Whack them in the head like I did that in the playground once. <laughs> Gee, but, you'd have been a fearsome sight in the playground, Donald. Got a good memory. <laughs> the boy was bigger than me. I wasn't going to let him go. Oh, what sensational footy by Ken Hinckley. That's how he attracted the umpire's votes last year and ran second in the Brownlow. But the kick marked by Devonport, having a purple patch in the second quarter. And what delivery to Anderson. Kick by Anderson is short to our series. He's kicked a couple already. The kick didn't quite carry. Oh. Anderson again. Oh. It's a free kick. It's a great shot. Smith. A shepherd off the ball was a now bit if ugly. He if he hit the fellow, he would have taken his head off. He missed him. He gave away the free. And now the rebound. Through McGrath, it goes to Hocking. Hocking looking to go long. Up inside the 50. Mansfield. Still with Mansfield. And he slipped and took it out for a throw-in. Just over 15 minutes till half-time. Everett now at centre-half forward for St Kilda. Or centre-half back, I should say. Different because uh, in the first quarter it was just about a cricket score. And in this quarter there's been only one goal kicked in 12 minutes. That to Geelong. Yeah, Everett centre half forward because there's Bingham going to do the ruck work. Yes, Brownless still a centre half back. It's a little bit confusing as Pickett takes it across the boundary line. Both these coaches have thrown their sides around this afternoon. Bit of a new look for both forward lines. Morris is loose to their Dennis just beside the pack. In front was Handley. It falls behind his steal. Big spike from Bingham Miss. The kick inside the attacking 50. Everybody had the same idea. Now, Views will be first back. Tight angle. Screws it back. Good looking at the great goal. No. Just missed. Well, Views with nothing to aim at. Pulled it back a long way. And increases the lead for the Cats. They get a 7 3 and killed a 5 7. So Geelong have kicked one goal, one in this quarter, and St Kilda three behinds. Kicked by Shanahan. Bingham tries to punch on. Simpson. Now a chance for Handley. Good running. Oh, terrific by Mansfield. Should have taken the mark once he got there. Anderson caught. Couch is there. Scoops the ball up that could have been called a throw. It goes to Buse, who kicks just a goal. Well, how was that allowed to land in the goal square? Well, Buse missed.
just from the pocket a minute ago, but from 50 metres made up for it that time. His second. Couch doing a lot of work under here. There is Couch fiddling with the ball. Finally flicks it out. Is that a throw? Well, we can only question on it because the goal has been paid. And clearing the head of both Shanahan and Minch. The left foot kick by Hughes. So the margin out to 14 points now. Worrying time for the Saints. The long looking better. Willison dragged off it. Held it a long time too. Free kick. Paid, and now the advantage. Harvey pops it out wide. Ralph Smith knocked away by McGrath. Fast become a dashing defender. Across half back he goes in short and finds Barnes. Swings it out wide. Brownless on the burst. Couch the hurried kick down towards half forward. Running back with the flight of it. Simpson. This is Hawking to steal a full stretch in trouble. Win too high. Too high. Yeah, that was a hospital job, wasn't it? Oh. Fancy running onto that. Darren Steele took a lot of courage. Steele, about 60 metres from goal, kicks the turf, and the ball goes directly to Peckett. Seen that a few times today, missed kicking. And Peckett, the beneficiary of that one. From right half back towards the wing, Winmar was up, directed it down almost to Harvey, who breaks away, forward of the wing, he goes inside the 50, low comes on the lead, what a strong mark. Good mark too, great mark, but the kick was also very good from Harvey, he delivers the ball so well. Robert Harvey, Chris Whitman apparently limping, he's going to come off too, the top physio out there. Lowe's kick, falls about five metres short, Brownless fists away. Opportunity for Barnes, fumbled. The Saints have got the numbers, but Taylor can't pick it up. Ralph Smith is in there crashing in his hocking. And we've got a whistle. And Pekin's come on. Tim Pekin's come on. There's Ralph Smith. And Pekin's gone to the back pocket picking up Andrew Buse. Whitman limping, Jared Healy. Yeah, bad luck for Chris. He uh, appears to have strained his left thigh. And they're just in the hands of the physio. And they'll be applying ice. Wouldn't think he'd play much part in the game from now on. Taylor. Saints looking for their first goal of the quarter. Low dragged to ground by Stoner. It goes to Gary Hocking. Good vision back to Hinkley. Unmarked in the goal square. And a terrific kick by Hinkley. Finds Willison at halfback flank. He gets around Morris. Gee, that's confidence. Ran a long way once he did get around. Up short of the 50. Mark dropped by Bingham. Hughes missed with his hand pass. Chance here for Peckett. Winmar. McAdam. Kick by McAdam to half forward. Ralph Smith taken out of it. McGrath first back there. Still with it, Tim McGrath. Now a chance for the Saints. Anderson. Gary Hocking for the catch, number 32. Played it well. Buddha Hocking to McGrath. Center of the ground. One on one here. Couch having a wrestle with Burke. Peckett doing particularly well. His hand pass intercepted by Steve Hocking, who was legged by McAdam, and will take the free kick. 51 to 37, catch by 14. Very important time in the game now. Hocking oh. is looking for Handley, who drops the mark, but recovers pretty well. The big man, 25 metres out from goal, has missed. He should have taken that mark. He took his eye off the ball at the critical stage. Got away from Bingham. Probably should have kicked the goal as well. 8 4 5 7. Showed good recovery too on the positive. Shanahan towards the outer side, peeking on the ground and takes a clever mark immediately. Started on the bench, rather surprisingly. As in short, finds Anderson. The defensive side of right centre wing, Dean Anderson. High kick towards centre half forward. Brownless from behind, slaps it forward. Willison does nicely. McGrath with some time, he's playing very well. McGrath boots it down towards half forward. Hickmott in front, almost the mark. They allowed to go on. Oh, Devonport was chopped. And he'll get a free kick. Hardy warming up for Geelong on the bench. Gary Hocking had a piece of that action. Here's Kane Taylor. Steele in no man's land. Didn't know whether to come to him. So he led his man Anderson away. Steele got back there and did it pretty well. Taylor. Up 
Bolo's going to ball it up at centre wing. Forsman's come off and Riccardi's gone on for Geelong and Riccardi's going to the left forward flank. Pickett, 11 possessions. And that is Riccardi's opponent. Played just one game last year, Pickett. Here's Hocking. The umpire will ball it up again. Kicks in the second quarter. Might have a third ball up here in a minute. No, ball comes out to Gary Hocking. He goes back with his hand pass. Barnes had it spent. Goes along the ground to Simpson. Running out of room near the boundary line. Up to centre half forward. Hickmock, well done. But he lost it to Harvey. Now an open paddock for Robert Harvey. Gets the hand pass away. Burke. Low in the chop. Crash, down goes the pack. Brownless giving an impression that he was trying to hand pass. I think I agree with the umpire. Well, he was flailing away. This is away. interesting, isn't it? It really is interesting. Just watch this because I wouldn't have paid the free kick. He punched it the other direction, Doc. Oh, oh, come out. <laughs> they kept going. Oh, on his oh, <laughs> but he was trying to get rid of it. Perhaps. Ralph Smith yes. come off two for St Kilda. Coming on is Chris Hollow, number 25, on the half forward flank. There's Dewey Lowe then inside the 50. And he's missed badly. Out of bounds on the full right full forward pocket. Did you see if he put a divot in the ground? He, I wasn't have, watching. he seemed to have success when he put the divot in the ground. He did put the divot in the ground. Our statistician Paul Todd indicating. And that's his fourth divot of the afternoon, says Toddy. Doesn't miss a trick. It's not even a chosen category. Out of defence, Hick Stoneham. Hickman off two, and Scott coming on for Geelong. McAdam, high floater back inside the attacking 50. Burke up with courage. Hollow, got it across. Anderson wishes he hadn't. Down he went. It comes to Harvey, who emerges from the pack. 30 metres out, kicks a goal. They needed that one, the Saints. Robert Harvey found him safe himself in space. Ball spills out and it just happened to be on the right side. There he is. Look, nobody around because he delivers the, so, the ball so well. That's just bread and butter for Harvey. Six and a half minutes to half time. Robert Harvey, with 14 possessions already, is having an influence. But St Kilda waited 20 minutes for their first goal in the second quarter. Stuart Lowe's had two shots for goal, both out of bounds on the full. Here goes Harvey again, looking for Lowe. Close quarter, Stoneham. Ball was out before the kick was taken, and it will come back to half forward flank, forward pocket. Hello. Saints are only nine points behind. They really haven't looked that close. Certainly in this quarter, Burke, Morris a bit slow. McAdam, 40 metres out. Not a bad effort. Right on the line. It's punched back into the field of play. Hinkley's there. Oh, he spun round in the tackle. The ball goes out of play. A full revolution, Don. Couldn't complain too much if he'd been pinged for that one. No. Boundary throw in as the sun breaks through. There's the time remaining. Eight, four, six, seven. Top game this one. It comes behind to Devonport and he's missed. It's good play by Devonport because he's playing on the half back line. Robert Scott is his immediate opponent. Oh, they've made a change. Kane Taylor, actually, I'm sorry, has gone back to the half back line picking up Scott. Now, obviously, Devonport's half forward, but they just made that change. Geelong lead by eight points. Barry Stanham to bring it in. Straight down the middle. Barnes. Always his. Played on immediately. Hawking. Willison now running down towards half forward. A little indecisive. Paid the penalty. But it came back to him. Inside the centre square. He boots it down towards full forward. Howell at bounce. In front Mansfield. Still he goes out of midair. Riccardi. After it goes for a behind. 
quick transference of play, that one. Geelong 8-5, St Kilda 6-8. Gary Ablett watching on. Two of the game's superstars missing today, Tony Lockett and Gary Ablett. He could have said, I would have got that one. It would have been right. <laughs> yeah. Russell Morris playing as the mobile ruckman. After the hit-out's done in the centre work, Everett goes to centre-half forward and, run, and Mor Morris moves around the ground. Good move. McAdam palms to the front and reads his own crumbs. Gil McAdam, former McGarry medalist in South Australia, up to the 50. Everett, second good overhead mark. You see, McAdam playing on the wing is the position in which he won the McGarry Central Districts. Peter Everett, who kicked three goals in the Fosters Cup against the West Coast Eagles in Perth, came up through the grades at St Kilda, kicking from 52 metres, a beauty, has it got the distance? Oh, Hinkley rides high and just rushes it through. Everett looking all right. Yes, great promise. Boy from Hastings. Mornington Peninsula. Former All-Australian Teal Kappa. And Stoneham boots it in, members' side. Lewis and the flyer from behind. Morris lays it off to Burke. Burke concedes quite a bit of ground, but goes back to Winmar. Now Winmar goes across the ground. Interesting build up this one. This is Burke. With the left boot inside the attacking 50. Low interfered with as he approached that ball. Nothing doing. Oh. Meantime, the mark. Will stand. I think it's Stoneham getting up, is it? No, it's Billy. Billy Brownless. But watch low behind. I thought he was interfered with. And as a result, we saw that domino effect as low cannoned into Brownless. Well, I'm, sure, I'm sure the umpire's signal was pushing the back. If that's right, it's Stoneham's free kick. The only pushing there was Stoneham with low. Tong making another change too. Forsman's coming back on. And Simpson, Sean Simpson going off. Forsman looks as if he's going to go over and pick up McAdam on the wing. Brownless squares the ball. Well, that was all a bit strange. Lower a bit stiff not to get a kick, I thought. This is Hinkley coming away from half back. Goes in short. Stephen Hocking, the defensive side of the centre circle, kicks inside the attacking 50. Scott doing a little pushing in from the side. Handley. Big roar from the crowd because he's been down on form so far. They're happy to see that. Strong overhead mark. A better player when he's on the move as he was on that occasion. When he stands still, it's easy for Bingham to punch the ball away. He'll kick from just inside the 50. It's touch and go. He's got a goal. Well, he's been a real success, this player. He made his mark last year at about this time down at Geelong. Played the early part of the season, slowly worked his way up through the ruck. He was a real star. Formerly played over in the west, then at Brisbane Bears. Couldn't get a go up there, but he's done particularly well at Geelong. Tony Lockett looks on. He's killed the needing goal kickers. Here's Burke out of the middle. A difficult mark taken by kneeled in the same direction as the ball 59 to 45 cats in front by 14 points ball bounces through the big pack taylor first back there his hand pass straight to the path of riccardi got a free kick and right. he got a free kick just as he delivered the hand pass to the opposition which was a bit lucky kick by taylor two minutes remaining to half time clever hand pass by uh, Hollow gets it going St Kilda's way. Here's Harvey. Anderson to Burke. Nathan Burke, 55 metres out. Centering kick, all St Kilda. And McAdam or Winmar could have marked McAdam in front. Now, a goal by Gilbert McAdam here would get them in touch and be less than two goals down at half time. And they took 20 minutes to get their first goal of this quarter. McAdam kicks it. Well, 
Well, as soon as it left his boot, McAdam knew it was through the goals. The fist went in the air. He was running back towards the centre. He's very confident. Two players here, McAdam and Winmar. Winmar standing behind. Well, we're shepherding McAdam. There we go. Good kick by Harvey. No, not Harvey. Burke could have blazed away, but centred the ball. Eight possessions for Gilbert McAdam. 99 McGarry medalist. His first goal of the afternoon, but his side trails by eight points as it's booted down again by McAdam towards the half forward line. Kneeled in the road though, swings it back across his body. Here's Scott, who's been pretty quiet. He's Playing gone. From behind by Taylor. Well done. And the ball spills across the boundary line. So inside the last minute of the first half, and Geelong a 9 5, St Kilda a 7 9. Spirited start to the season. Barnes gets it down, trying to direct it to Couch. Burke did nicely in a tight situation. Harvey, well-weighted kick. Winmar can make it another one. The clock is running down to 30 seconds now. Intended for Devonport, but wide of the mark. That was a poor kick. Hinkley drifting across, claims the mark, plays on. Channels it to Buse. Buse at right half back. Measures the kick. Down towards centre wing. Scott had an arm draped over the shoulder. Blind side of the umpire, though. Forsman keeps it in front. The clock is down to 10 seconds. Forsman with a chance for Geelong now. Beautiful looking kick. Mensch not there. Hocking to Scott. Almost siren time. He runs into an open goal and gets it. Right on the siren. Well, things can certainly turn sharply. St Kilda half a chance at one end. Rebound caught them out. Danny Frawley just two kicks in the first half. Now on the forward line. Everett wins the first punch of the second half. It comes out towards centre wing. Willison. Whistle's gone. It's to be a Geelong free kick. And St Kilda going on with it well after the whistle, Robert Harvey. And Willison's got to come back behind the man on the mark. Robert Harvey, ten possessions in the second quarter when he went onto the ball. Kicked by Willison up towards the 50. Forceman lost control of it. Well done, Hickmott, but he threw it, said the umpire, and he's been penalised. Burke to take the free then. Likes to punch. Here's Anderson. Little chip pass. Just carries the wing, but carried the boundary line as well. Devonport, the sliding attempt to claim the mark. And now 50 metres, so the Saints not playing it too well there in all respects. Devonport is dragged back. And finishes up down towards left half forward. Steele, who's been serviceable. Played 119 games for North. They can test about 15 metres out. It falls behind McAdam. Oh, exquisite skills there. And he comes away, having had a bounce. No one to kick to so cleverly. Gets as much distance out of the play as he can and runs it out of bounds at right half back. Very well played, Gilbert McAdam. So boundary throw in left half forward for the Cats, who lead 10-5 to 7-9. Wrestling there between Handley and Bingham. It falls wide off them. Riccardi into space. Scott took a long time. Anderson hurried kick towards midfield. Everett in front. Fisted away by Barnes. This is Burke to Harvey. Had to break stride and wait for the ball, but the kick very effective. Here's Morris. Down towards half forward. Nothing on, though. Eventually, Lowe belatedly comes on the lead. It goes in that direction. Crawley in from the side. Well, that attack all started with a great tackle by McAdam. Up at half back for St Kilda. Danny Crawley. There he is on screen. Gilbert McAdam. Hasn't kicked him any goals in his career. His side needing this one. Kicked 12 in 187 games. Not a great average. The margin is 14 points. Frawley from 35 metres out. Very slight angle. Important kick. And he sneaks it in. First blood to the Saints in the second half. A real captain's goal, that. See there, the, captain, the coach very happy. 
A lot of concentration, head over the ball. Calling well Marguerite done by Danny Frawley. Margarine Here's the mark, Apple. he's behind. Could you please go to the administration? Can't you? blame Hinkley, he Margarine was in front, but a stronger Thank you. grab. Strong hands, better judgment by Frawley, and a good kick for goal, as I've already said. Margin back to eight points. Everett faces Barnes. Barnes wins, but Harvey takes the ball out of the middle. Touched off the boot. Morris. He delivered that ball for Frawley's goal. Russell Morris on the run. Skirts away from Brownless. He's kicked to the forward line. And socket away by Stoneham. An own goal in soccer. A rush behind in Australian football. Could have been experience shown by Hollow on that occasion, playing on the full back low, full forward line for St Kilda. Really didn't make a full-blooded attempt at the ball. Kicked by Stoneham. Well outside the 50. McAdam with the ride. Punches down to the front. Couch. Hinkley. Took a little while to get rid of the kick. Brown was having a horror. Hinkley again is caught by Burke. Oh. He threw that for sure. Crawley put the ball down and went crash. And gets a free kick. Wow. I've never seen anything like it. That was amazing all around. The first hand pass from Hinkley. And then Crawley finishing up with the free. He has the ball outside the 50. Little chip pass straight to Mansfield. Poor kick. Mansfield is up from the back pocket. 10-5 Geelong. 8-10 the Saints. Barry Stone and behind play signalling to the bench there's something wrong with Stone and the physio has gone out to him. Winmar off hands. Floats it back towards the 50. Standing his ground in front once more. Mansfield. This will be a blow to Geelong if Stoneham goes off. The Cats have led at every change today. Four points at quarter time, 14 at the half. Knocked on by Everett. Couch cleverly to Scott. Scott from about 75 metres out goes down towards the pocket. Mench in front, fisted away by Shanahan. Well, Everett knocking that ball in the wrong direction. That wasn't the best policy. It opened it up behind the pack for the opposition. Just wait and see what happens with Stone and the physio now going back to the bench. Such a long physio. Sun shining at the present time. Riccardi goes up, couldn't control it. Taylor has battled hard, gets the hand pass towards the boundary line. Burke with dash, then lost it, looking for support. That's ambitious, trying to make something out of nothing and gave it away. Scott across his body. A bit of judgment shown down there by Harvey, but he couldn't control it. Taylor goes back, didn't have the ball, dragged off it. And now it's with Hawking. Hawking about 20 metres out is missed. Should have gone on to his left foot. He's kicked two previous goals with the left foot. As soon as he has a go with his dominant foot, he misses. Kick in by Shanahan to Harvey. Roaming far and wide, Robert Harvey. Kick to centre wing. Peckett. Justin Peckett. Over to Peckett. His left foot at a half forward. Frawley. Offering something at half forward now, Danny Frawley. Peckett again. Frawley punches on. But Mrs. Pekin, the ball out of play. Well, Danny Frawley wasn't in the action in defence in the first half. He's already kicked a goal to start this third quarter. Big pack around this boundary throwing. Barnes and Morris. Sounds like an opening pair for Australia in the 40s. Scott. Kicked the half forward. Handley can't take the mark, comes to Hickmott, off the right boot to the goal square. Mench wrestles, taken out of it by Shanahan, no whistle. Neal, dragged to the ground, holding it, says the umpire. But did Pekin have an arm wrapped around Neal as he was going for that ball? I thought he did. Pekin gets it to Taylor, who clears the zone, back to midfield, win mark, great mark. Plays on immediately, this is Harvey storming through the middle. Oh. Oh. Knocked off for running too far. He ran 15 metres. Oh, Brian Sheehan. Taylor made that one for Nicky Winmar. More ways than one. This is Scott. Down towards half forward with a kick. Handley comes on the lead, got hands to it. Hickmott pushed off it. 
Sliding in there was Burke. It spills back to Riccardi. 75 metres out from goal. High kick. Kneeled in best position. But going back, Mensch takes a very good mark. Terrific effort. It's been quite impressive on the forward line. David Mensch is kicked two. And Shanahan just too far underneath the ball. He's got his third. Geelong answer. Mench who really is improving each game he plays. A little slow when he started off, started into change, coming on with occasional run that's early last year, but now really is starting to pick up the pace of the game. Starting to really develop now as a player. So Geelong re-established their 14-point lead of half time out by Hocking actually to Riccardi his hand passed to Forster oh, oh, under pressure by oh, and he doesn't win a free kick for that oh. that was a free kick against Forston for sure he spun right round here's Robert Harvey off the left out very wide for Arsiri who takes the mark kicked two goals in the first quarter in his new colours now at his third club mark Arsiri too far out this time by about 30 metres Brownless can't take the mark so St Kilda free right in front to Stewie Lowe I didn't see that, but I thought Morris gave away the free kick, had hands on the shoulder. And Brownless went for the ball. There's the free kick, I thought, against Morris. But then on the right of screen, you can see Stoneham cannoning into the back of Lowe. He was just about so far out of the action, it didn't even count. Saints trail by 14 points. First goal. And he missed it. So at the poor start to the season, he made it hard for Stone and Early. He got plenty of the ball, but that's his only score for the day. One behind out of three shots. They needed that one as Hinckley goes in short. Forsman, 59, plays 72. Geelong lead. Hinckley again. Gets it back from Forsman. Kicks it towards midfield. Oh, in from good. the side. Everett. Most impressive. Everett, low trajectory kick towards the outer side and Crawley, adding some bite on the forward line, concedes some ground, this is Devonport, forward of the wing, McAdam drifting into the hole, surrounded by three Geelong players, presented himself and presented himself well. Everett again, Everett short. McAdam fancies his chances from here, he's kicked one. He tells Devonport he's going for it, and why not? That one goal was from similar range at the other end. Has it got the carry? It did, but not the direction. Behind. Some kill to get closer. 20 scoring shots to 17, but they trail by 12 points. David Grant is uh, missing the first month. And Billy Brown is getting the Bronx cheers. And you don't often hear that for Billy Brownless at Cadinia Park. Oh, McAdam really offering himself here. He was sandwiched that time, but he pushed Riccardi out. Riccardi, a local from the Geelong area. His left footer up towards centre-half forward. Devonport should have marked once he got there. Gary Hocking rips it away. His left footer has height but no distance. Tried to mark him behind. Shanahan might still be some killers. Taylor, Pekin, close to the boundary line, oh. just inside, and it'll be a throw in at half back for some killer. The old centimetre perfect. There's the time remaining 11 6 8 12 in this third term. Barnes goes back after the ball, but neither Ruckman touched it. Eventually, Devonport gets it across to Peckett, who's been pretty impressive today. McGrath. Got a hand to it, couldn't control it. Still he goes. Two on two. Arsiri goes off the ground, but gives it away. This is Riccardi. Riccardi probing, kick towards half forward and Forsman. They've got two men extra, Geelong. Handley is calling for it. They've all congregated together, the Cats. Well, that was bad football. They had two on. 
And now Forsman thinks in any case he can do the distance. Hasn't seen much of the ball today, Darren Forsman. In the side is a replacement for Ablett, and Ablett couldn't have done any better. Gee, that was a great kick for goal by Forsman. Classical in the way that he... What's this kick? So matter of fact, looking where it is, going to kick it. Eyes down on the ball, straight follow through. Well done. Good loose by Pickett, we've sung his praises, but Forsman got away from him on that occasion. Cats by three goals, and you wonder whether that's just the start of something big. Burke. Tries one out of the air. Riccardi and McAdam having a great duel on the wing. Oh, Riccardi did superbly then. Sensational footy by Peter Riccardi. He's kicked the centre half forward handily. He gets a lead by Neil. Goes the other way. Menches the man he wants. Hocking can't break the tackle. Was the tackle high? Advantage played to Scott, who kicks the goal. bursting through the floodgates. It's an interesting one, this one, where you watch here Hocking getting grabbed. He gets grabbed by the jumper. Now, really, the umpires could signal around the neck, yet the players grabbed him by the jumper. That's an interesting ruling, because the player actually hasn't put a hand over the shoulder. All he's done is grab him by the jumper. 11 possessions, three goals for Robert Scott. This is Everett. Towards half forward, Brownless leads back in the race, controls it pretty well too, but Billy swings it out wide, close to the boundary line, Riccardi goes at it with McAdam, and the ball came off McAdam's hand and goes out of bounds. He's trying very hard. It's Brownless, who started at centre half back, he's still there, and he struggled today. Everett and Barnes. Everett in front. Bounces back in his direction. Whoops. Missed it. Goes again. McAdam had a charge down. Couch has been, by his standards, pretty quiet today. McAdam in the tackle. Gets the kick away towards half forward. Good mark by Morris. Body to body with Brownless. Won the contest. Wants to go. Told to go by the umpire. Turn nimble for Brownless. 55 metres out. Long bomb. It's good. Well, they've got to look, I think, at moving Brownless. St Kilda 9-12, Geelong 13-6. It's a good thing that came off for Morris because you see he had Davenport out on the left. He saw Davenport, ignored him, just saw there. He was just going to give it to Davenport, ignored him. Instead went long, it was a good kick. Players getting a lot of distance when he's shooting for goal today. Marching back to three goals. Barnes wins in the middle. McAdam. Took it about 15 metres defensively. Across the ground. Oh. Two St Kilda players crash into each other. Taylor and Devonport. Allowing Hughes in. His hand pass a bit high for Willison. And McAdam has left his wing on the other side to come in and apply the tackle. Yeah, I wouldn't have liked to have been in Dean Anderson's situation then. He really had to go for the ball. Ball was favouring him. He had two Geelong fellows running the opposite way. He knew if he picked the ball up, he could have been crunched. Yet he kept going. 84 plays 66. Geelong in front. Midway through the third quarter. Here's Buse. Back into the pack. Didn't see Burke coming. Burke tackled him. Won the ball. Terrific. Bingham. Kicked a centre half forward. Frawley or Morris. And Frawley marks. Robert Harvey on the run. Around McGrath he goes from 50 metres. Great goal. The Saints have kicked the last two, and this isn't all over yet. Oh, he's a good player. He's my pick. I picked him for the Brown my last year. Watch Couch in the chase here. A very lazy chase when he thinks the man in front's going to cut him off. It stopped and then had to go again. Robert Harvey. One problem with Robert Harvey he hasn't got a left side to it doesn't use that side
41 possessions to Harvey. Two goals, and the Saints will not be denied as Harvey goes down again. Scott loses control. Everett, well done. Great mobility. Kicks inside the 50. Good mark taken in front by Steele. Sean Simpson warming up, and actually the run has gone out, Dennis, to Paul Couch. So the margin is 12 points. Even the very good players sometimes make mistakes. There's Barnes down. And Couch has run away from the runner with a... There now, Couch is going to... Is he going to come He didn't want to hear what he had to say. Oh, no, he didn't. <laughs> the grass kick, meantime, has gone to Devonport, who uses it to McAdam, forward of the wing, and the Saints coming again. They've been terrific this afternoon. McAdam measures the kick, goes for distance, and misses to the near side. Now, what are they doing? The runner's still out with Couch. He's spoken to Forsman. Couch is still on the ground. Adams had two shots this quarter and missed both times. Barnes taking some top marks. Willison a little hand pass through to Riccardi. who dodges well, puts the hand pass out wide to Scott. Now they're on the run, the Cats. Willison kept going. Trapped it well. Handley in front should have taken the mark. Delivers the hand pass to Couch. He can make up for it here. His left footer doesn't make it. Or does it? Oh. Yes, Taylor just touched it. Good skill then by Hanley. He's going with the right hand and then he swung onto the left. Well executed handball. Shanahan short to the pocket. This is Burke. Finds Winmar. He can run. McAdam wants the ball. That's the direction the kick takes. McAdam was free. He's down towards left half forward. Quick transference of play by St Kilda. High floating kick in the low direction. Fisted away by Stoner. Brownless cast in the roll of a rover. Comes away from defence. Kicks it through the wing towards half forward. Handley and Bingham. Handley leading back in the race. Well shepherded by Mansfield. Still he goes, Stephen Handley. 52 metres out. Wobbles a kick down towards full forward. And it goes through for a behind. Finally, Paul Couch has come off the ground. And Sean Simpson's gone onto his place. 13-8 to 10-13. The margin less than it was at half time. This is Anderson. The ex-Hawk Dean Anderson up towards centre wing. Here's Robert Scott. Hurriedly gets rid of it. From behind, the punch down. Well done, Peckett. Devonport. Harvey drops into a bit of space on centre wing. His pass is good for Morris. Man, everyone's carved up Billy Brownless today. Morris. Good gets a good run from Peek, and he's come from the last line of defence. His kick out it out to a low in front. Didn't have first touch. Is buried. Steele whips it away for Geelong. This is when the pre-season work comes to the fore. All those hours you put in before Christmas start paying dividends. Willison has taken the ball out, and we'll have a throw in. I think he needs a whistle. He thought it was out and stopped. Just as well, the boundary umpire agreed. 13, 8, 10, 13. There's the time remaining in the third term. It's a thriller at Cadenia Park. One down by Everett. Sharks by Riccardi. High floaters and Kilder have got the numbers. Hickmott did pretty well. The weight of numbers will tell the story. Well, almost. Hickmott battled two of them. He held Anderson too long, but it was a terrific solo performance by that youngster. It was because uh, St Kilda had two players, McAdam in the square by himself and also Davenport by himself. It's well done by uh, Hickmott. McAdam. Saints are running hard. It's a question of who will have the legs at the finish. Towards half forward, Brownless reaching over the top, gets it down. Scott bursts away from half back, kicks it inside the 50. From behind, Shanahan knocks it towards the boundary. Simpson is there. Lost control, though. Shanahan once more bounces out of bounds, intended for Devonport. A boundary throw in the defensive side of right centre wing for the Saints, who trail by 13 points. 10-13 to 13-8 after the margin got out to 24 points. Anderson straight to Hinkley. Ken Hinkley up towards full forward. Mench gets underneath it. It hits the back of the pack. Mansfield oh, threw the ball back in. And it's been penalised. It was a bad punch by Shanahan. He punched the ball towards the John goal, kept it running. Seven minutes left in the third quarter. 
Pekin, who was right up on the forward line a moment ago. Kicks to Winmark. He's got it at centre half back. Up towards Frawley. Oh, nudge from behind for sure by McGrath. And McGrath gets away with it. Daylight robbery. McGrath off the left boot. Not a great kick. Chance for McAdam. He puts the hand pass to Winmar. One wingman to the other. Kicked by Nicky Winmar. Great distance to low. For a change, he drops an overhead mark. And Steele finds the boundary line. And they find themselves in the back pocket, the Cats. Oh, if that's not a push in the back, I'll go he. I am he. One down by low. Hinkley keeps it in front. Brownless in heavy traffic. What a particularly good hand pass. Forsman surrounded down. He goes. Hinkley goes off the ground. Gained about 15 metres. Riccardi throws it onto the boot. Down towards half forward it comes. Bingham battling with Handley. Back goes Bingham. Controls it well. Gets away from Handley. He's been most impressive at centre half back, Bingham. To Taylor on the burst. He kicks it inside the 50. Barnes uncontested. Shepherding says the umpire it's going against our series. This is Steele. Steele back towards the wing. Burke was up in front. His namesake goes to ground. Forsman to Simpson. Hit Burke in the face. Simpson battles again. Down he goes. Riccardi's got it. We've got a whistle, and it's coming back to be taken by Simpson. A couple of Burks in an English comedy, it might mean something else. <laughs> Up towards half forward. Oh. Taylor flew high and dropped the mark. Forsman off the left boot. Wide open forward line. Mench. He and Shanahan underneath it. Mansfield. Good tackle by Pekin. Spills to Taylor, who picks out Devonport. Oh, play on, play on. He's told him to play on. Forsman has come, yeah, that's over come off his boot. Surely that's a free kick on the full. To St Kilda, it came off uh, Forsman's lead. In this quarter, the Saints have kicked 3 4, Geelong 3 goals 3. It's nip and tuck after at one stage the Cats got out to a 4 goal lead and it looked ominous for the Saints. But they fought back. Here's Handley. High ball, close to the boundary line in the pocket. Mansfield, what a leap! He's looking to pass it off, but surely he'd kick for goal from here. Man on the mark's only 20 metres out. It's a left footer, Drew. Hinkley, Hinkley injured in that uh, pack that flew for that ball when Mansfield marked. But he'll be all right, Ken Hinkley. Mansfield scoreless today. Close, but I think he snuck it home. Nineteen points the margin. He's always impressed me that player. Number twenty-one. Registration Started as a back e man. Q -U. He's trying to establish himself and become a consistent player eight. down here at Geelong. Eight, six, He's got a lot of talent, Michael Mansfield. You're blocking a lot of other people in. play both ends of the Room ground. Ford, e -Q -U, eight, six, eight. Please move your car. So that margin creeping up again, 92 to 73. That's the time remaining. And they've been catching up all day, the Saints. Sooner or later. They'll pay the price. Here's Winmar. They've got to get the surge and maintain it. Low leads back in the race. Here's an opportunity in the pocket. It'll take something special from here. Big Stewie snaps it back. They'll contest about five metres up. Frawley almost on his knees. Danny Frawley came out in reverse. Tries to get it to our Siri. Oh. Our Siri was taken high, close to the oh. boundary line. He's pushed in the back. Oh, he gets Big a second get it free. Big Bass, what are you doing? Oh, what about the first one? I know. Was there, here it is. Look. Oh. Well, the umpire obviously saw that one and was quick to pay the second one. Uh, Siri, on a sharp angle, it will take a very good kick from here. So far, he's kicked two. Harvey has two. They're the principal goal scorers for the Saints. 19 points the difference. Uh, Siri, good looking effort. It's tight. It's good. Great kick. 
and the Saints come back again. His third goal, but he conned the umpire then, Arcieri, because what he did was move two steps to the left and open up the angle. Now, here's a first free kick. Bang. I suppose the arm got in the road. He really didn't slap him across the face. But there's the second one. Now, he should be further to the right than what he is. Now, Darren Steele standing the mark, pointed it out to the umpire, but the umpire would have nothing to do with it. Mark Arcieri, the Saints wanted a goal-kicking little man. And three goals in his debut for the Saints already. He's paying dividends. Back in the middle. Neither one really. Barnes at the second attempt. Forsman shrugs the tackle. Gets away from Peckett. The kick out towards the pocket. Nowhere near Peckett. Thumped off the ground by Taylor. Hinkley, he's recovered. Good little hand pass. A blind one by Buse to Manch. Oh, terrific stuff. And a good goal by Willis. Oh, terrific. The goal. Really some reflexive handball here. I don't think the Geelong players knew they had teammates in positions that they did. First one from Hinkley. Bang. That one. And another quick one. Very quick. Very impressive. It wasn't the best of hand passes from Hughes as it turned out, but it worked out pretty well for them. So Willison. Gets his first AFL goal. And we're back in the middle, and the Saints with a job to do again. Hinkley slaps it back only as far as Everett. Oh, do <laughs> you mind? The spin turn from 200 centimetres of Ruckman. Winmar gets it to Burke, who goes down towards the pocket. Stewie Lowe needs to mark it. He does. Very good mark. But what we've seen today is too far out to score. You've got to have a go at this one, surely, from inside so. 50. Yeah, but he was looking to lay it off such is the confidence at the present time he has to go for goal clock running down it's a minute 30 remaining in this third term the margin back to 19 points this has to be a goal low good looking effort that's a beautiful kick 10 out of 10 for Stewie Low. 12-13 to 15-8. He's not the best kick for goal, Stewie Lowe. He doesn't get much uh, distance. But the player setting it up there, Burke, has been impressive today. A real quiet achiever. But this is a magnificent kick by Lowe. Toward in step, straight knee, and he jumps straight through the ball to get that extra bit of distance. Margin back to 13 points. It's been a pretty popular gap all day. The Saints just keep nipping away. A high ball from Hinkley. Bingham. Hickmott gets the ball out to Willison, who kicked the Cats' last goal. Hocking charged at it. Handley with a chance now. 40 metres out. Stephen Handley. Offline. Margin 14 points. That was the break at half time. One goal, three, Stephen Hanley. Started to come into the game. Started a little slowly. Bingham beat him. Now started to move around a little bit more. It's a, bit more a little difficult for Bingham to stay with him. Shanahan towards the outer side. Everett. Pretty of confidence in the young man. As indicated by the kick from Shanahan. Groundless. Must be a free kick for Morris. The clock continues to run down. In fact, now the umpire has whistled time on. So the clock stops at 23 seconds remaining in this third term. It's in the Horace, Billy. Morris treats him with contempt, but then lost it. And Billy comes away with it. Behind play, there's a free kick. It's against, is it Mansfield? No, Hughes. Hughes, who clipped Morris around the head. So 12 seconds remaining now. Touch of arrogance by Morris. He did that earlier to Brownless. Caught him out and kicked a goal. Thought he'd try it again and it came unstuck. He needs to practice his bouncing. 12 13 to Saints. 15 9 Geelong. Morris goes in short. Held surely was low by the jumper. Nothing doing. And there's the siren for three quarter time. Well, that was an interesting one. Three quarter time then with Geelong leading 99. Start of the final term then. St Kilda. Trailing by 14 points. It's been a top game of footy, this one. Can the Saints get back? The breeze not a factor. This is Anderson. 
Burke controlled it pretty well. Strong tackle. McGrath got him down, but this is Burke again. The other Burke inside the 50 goes from 40 meters out and misses to the right-hand side. So initially it was Nathan Burke and then Darren Burke. There's the ladder. And the margin is back to 13 points. It's amazing, isn't it? I watched that young fellow when he was at Melbourne, and really he has improved. It's amazing how fellows can improve over a couple of years. Stunham kicks in. Barnes juggles the mark. What a great story he is. The season before last, he didn't play a senior game at Essendon. McGrath boots it out wide. Hollow in front. Couldn't control it. It spills out of bounds, and we've got to throw it. He kept on breaking his jaw at Essendon, John Barnes. King hit in, the, in an incident uh, in the reserves in round one and just about uh, ruined Tim his Bird. whole season. Tim Bird from Geelong, I think, played that. Ball up centre wing. Again, in all fairness, he had uh, Salmon, Madden in front of him, Somerville, so it's a formidable line up here. The opportunity presented himself because uh, Burke's given it away because of injury and also Hooper, the other big ruckman, uh, is just starting to come back through the reserves. Dean Anderson, clever. Hinkley also clever. Hickmott to Hinkley. Great pass. No, oh, I just missed Willison. There's Forsman. Oh. Yeah, Peck of Hill when he didn't have it will take the free kick. Oh, Don't write off the Saints yet. Very well played, wasn't it? He has been impressive. Picked up in last year's March draft. Now that was bad marking by Riccardi. He had Davenport covered initially. That's it. Decided, no, I'll go into where the action is. Left uh, Davenport. Look what's happened. Riccardi left a mile behind. McAdam for goal. Oh, a raking it. kick. A beauty. Oh. And the Saints right in this. Second goal to Gilbert McAdam. The margin just seven points. Well, I mentioned about Riccardi going away from uh, Davenport. And there he is with the ball. It was good siding by uh, Peckett. But this goal here, as soon as it left his boot again, McAdam running back to the centre of the ground with a fist in the air. He knew it was straight through the goal as soon as it left the boot. 18 possessions for that man and two goals. Magic goal, the last one. Everett decisively down to Burke. He was taken high. Free kick. It should have been too. Eventually, there's a belated whistle. Crawley to Winmark, who runs to 30. Still going. He should kick another one. 25 out, pops it through. What a start. McCannon then Winmark. And the margin is less than a goal. And the beauty about it, Dennis, is both of those players are playing on the wing. Now, they have win uh, goal-kicking wingmen. And the Kira is one at uh, West Coast. You start to uh, hold some ascendancy as far as the game goes. And here's Winmar off the centre wing. He's gone and he kicked his first goal. And again, him on the other wing has kicked two. Well, these two teams over the last few years have played some thrillers and this one living up to recent history. The Cats by one point. Everett beats Barnes, comes to Forsman. Just out of the centre square now and back in. Hollow, chopped off by Forsman. Wide open football now. Forsman from 52 metres. His left footer is not bad. Mitch a chance. Punch away by Shanahan and the ball out of play for a throw in. Two number 31s playing on each other, David Mensch and Jamie Shanahan. Grant on the bench for St Kilda, but unfortunately we won't be seeing him today. Not on the field of play anyway. 99 to 98, the Cats lead. The Cats in attack here. Hawking ducks the head. Scott on the fingertips and kicks a great goal. Four goals to Robert Scott. Fellows Forte, eh, Robert Scott. Very quick, very nippy, and a real opportunist on the forward line. A couple of years ago, formed a formidable roving duo with uh, Denham. Denham's since left the club, and now he does all his best work, Scott, on the forward line. Pickmont's come off, and Couch has come back on for Geelong. Geelong lead by seven points. There's the time remaining. Barnes gets it down this time. Winmar has done well today to Harvey. Likewise, Harvey through the wing. Well shepherded. Not a particularly good kick, though. Arsiri has kicked three goals. Lacking support. Hooks it back. Down towards low. Shoulder to shoulder with Stoneham. 
They negate each other in from the side. Brown was the mark to Barnes. Swings it out wide. Riccardi. McAdam favoured by the bounce, but Riccardi did well. Hand passes to his own advantage. Riccardi still going to count. Sold into trouble. Knocked away by Hollow. Peckett over the top. Hollow to Peckett. Swings it out wide. Windmar. Plenty of time. Goes in short. And this is Burke. Darren Burke out of side. There's no movement at all on us until the forward line. Bounds is the umpire. Burke. Down towards the 50. Low is the target. Stoneham over the top. Harvey left without it. And as a result, Willison comes away. Long kick towards half forward. Mansfield controlled it well. Nice spin turn. Mansfield towards the pocket. Not a good kick. Mench is there with Shanahan. They've had a most interesting duel, the 231s. And Shanahan escorts it over the boundary line. Been playing about seven minutes in the last quarter. Seven points the difference, Geelong in front. Bingham, Nathan Burke goes off the ground. The ball out of play. Well, it was thrilling stuff at the start of this last quarter. Goals by Winmar and McAdam got the Saints within one point. Bingham again. Burke, Darren Burke, ex Dandenong player, gains a few metres and the ball out of play once more. Stewie Lowe is coming up to the thick of the action, is he? Bingham, palms down, Scott intercepts. High ball towards the pocket. Mansfield from behind. Oh, terrific Beacon. Tim Beacon, who played 107 games with the Lions. Russell Morris now at full forward, forcing kill the Stewie Lowe has been picked up by Brownless at centre half forward. Beacon towards the wing. Winmar had to go and did well. Gave a contest to knock it away from Forsman. Hocking, who's been pretty quiet, was taken high and he'll get the free. It's technical. Gary Hocking intended to mench on the lead. Timely fist from Shanahan. Hollow got in the road. He was emptied out and will get the free kick. Well, it was most involuntary by Mench. It was the worst for wear. Watch Hollow. Maybe the elbow came up. Like a man on a crosswalk. Close to the boundary line. This is Willison. Probing kick inside the 50. Shanahan over the top, fisting away. Riccardi couldn't control it. Down goes Simpson. Taylor nicely. Gets it across to Anderson. High kick towards midfield. Hinkley's there. Devonport reaches over the top. Flicks it back. Back comes Hinkley. Down he goes. Tunnels it back. Burks in the road. Now a chance for the Saints. Into open space. Brownless has to come. Couldn't oh. control it. Winmar superbly. Got it on to Lowe, who can't control it. Now at close quarters to Winmar. Sees Devonport drifting into the pocket. Open goal. Beckett, he stopped. Oh, dear. Well, he's going back for the set shot and wants to go for a short pass. There were three Saints to one cat. And Devonport, yeah, Devonport stopped. He'd need to kick this. Morris is by himself in the goal square. He looks like a man who's been told by the coach, I don't want you shooting for goals, son. Well, he's got to now. Remember Devonport. the famous uh, telephone conversation between Sheldon and Devonport at MCG. He misses this. There could be another one. But it looks good. Good kick under pressure. Well, so kill to get back. That's his first. He's already kicked two points prior to kicking his goal. He's been pretty bad to patchy in his pre-season Devonport, but hasn't been too bad today. He's been playing down back. He started there. Also, they tried him in the centre. Good eyes by Winmar. Could have gone on there. But decided to go back. Made the right decision in hindsight. back to a point. The Cats might get a bit shaky here. Crawley goes up the ground with a two-hander. Riccardi. Very wide. The Geelong flyer goes past blowing his horn. Nothing to do with Bob Davis. And Simpson out of bounds. will have a throw in. Out of wing. He's going into the centre now. He's going to put for the bounce down. Everett and Barnes. Gary Hocking. Hand pass out is good to Willison. He's got a turn of speed. 
Raking kick to full forward. Mansfield works to the front. Can't take the mark. Taylor under pressure. He'll take a free kick. A little bit of a soft one, that one. Quick whistle, wasn't it? Across the ground, setting Bingham a task. He's been the equal of that all day, but he's bucked out of bounds. He was met solidly. Simpson coming down the ground. We've got to throw in. He's got great mobility. He's about six foot six, Bingham. Started as a ruckman at Hawthorne. Couldn't get a go there, but done well today. Hawking. Shanahan reaches over the top and forces it behind. We saw Mark Bairstow looking on anxiously. So the margin now is out to two points. No anxiety anymore. Broad smile. That point did it. There's the time remaining. Shanahan, members side, Everett will stretch and take the mark. The Saints belying their pre-season form. They've been very good today despite some notable absentees. Devonport goes off the ground. Here comes Burke. Well done, Nathan Burke. Dragged down, though. Strong tackle by Scott. McGrath comes away. Not a good kick, but it finds its mark. This is Barnes. Down towards right half forward. 16-10 Geelong. Too slow, Barnes. He had Mansfield signaling, signaling in the pocket. Intended for Handley. Up he goes to claim the mark. 16-10 to 15-14 St Kilda. 106 to 104. Handley has the ball and will kick from outside the 50. It's a big hole, Dennis, in between Handley and the front of the square. It hasn't been filled, so can Ge Geelong players can lead into that if they wish. Not one St Kilda player has gone there either. Now, Beacon has. Well done. Also, Kane Tarter going across to fill that space. Handley is close to the man on the mark. As a result, it may not have the carry. He had to kick it high. And it bounces through for a behind. Almost an involuntary action when you get close to the man on the mark. You get underneath it. One goal for Handley. Eric Anderson, would you please go to the first aid? Well, Geelong came into this game missing nine players from last year's grand final team once Gary Ablett pulled out prior to the match. So St Kilda missing Lockett. Geelong missing Ablett. Another chance here for the Cats. Simpson going all the way against his old team. And the ball is rushed through for a behind. Nicky Winmar, very slow, has only just got up to his feet after that kick in. There he is, Winmar. He stayed on the ground for a long time. 108 plays 104. The Cats leading by four points. Good kick into Pekin. His kick up towards centre wing. All Geelong here. Hinkley takes the mark. Hits the ground running. His kick back to centre half forward. Ill directed. He should have done better with that. And Taylor takes the mark. Getting a bit tired now, and the kick's not finding their mark. Taylor towards the wing. Clever mark by Scott, reaching over the top of Burke. Should have really gone for the fist then, Scott. Put behind, he took a chance. Geelong doing most of the attacking. Uncontested Simpson. Feeds it off to Forsman, but sold him into trouble on his right foot. He goes in short with the presence of mind and finds Mensch. Done by Forsman, normally a left foot kick. Yeah, not on his wrong side. Not a good hand pass by Simpson because he was always going to have to kick with his right hand side. But Simpson tried to do the right thing and establish some team play there. I suppose a coach can't be too critical. 16 12, 15 14. Oh. Kick is on its way and it's good. Mench has got four and that's a big goal. And he has not blotted his copybook at all, Mench. He's had four shots for goal, and he's kicked truly on every occasion. Here's the hand pass. Well done by Forsman to get away. Nice little chip. And Mench has kicked the goal in every quarter. And not only that, four kicks, four goals. A bit of breathing space for Geelong. They lead by ten points. Won't be enough for them to feel comfortable yet. Harvey out of the middle. Hurriedly onto the left boot. And McGrath takes the mark for Geelong. Playing on Frawley, Danny Frawley. Was uh, first half in defence and moved to the half forward line in the third quarter. Kick by McGrath. Big pack. Everett underneath this one. Handley at the back with Bingham. Simpson doing well. The hand pass is good to Willison, the ex-West Australian. He's on the 50. He goes for goal. But hooks it. Hits the post. He loves the run, doesn't he? Also for the first game, a very impressive. 11th selection in the 1991 draft. In actual fact, he was transferred for... Um, he, 
John got that pick by transferring Fletcher, Adrian Fletcher, to St Kilda. Mansfield playing. Held a long time in the tackle, Mansfield. He's going to get the free kick. So the game on the line now, and Geelong are responding best. 17-13, 15-14. Mansfield from 55 metres out. It's a thumper. Right on the line, Bingham. Mark Handley. Well, he came from nowhere. Terrific effort. That was a big leap because Bingham also got up pretty high. Goal. That could do it. Still plenty of time, but Geelong looking the better side now in contrast to the best part of the day despite the scoreboard. There's still a bit of time left. Here's the mark. Big leap by Hanley. A good effort. And Winmar has gone down into the forward pocket. Maybe he was shaken up after that uh, knock that he got out on the ground about the 50-metre line. Williston's gone with him too. Back in the middle. Everett looks a real prospect for St Kilda in the ruck. Forsman grabbed when he didn't have it and will take a free kick. We have 12 minutes remaining here. Plucky display by St Kilda. His pre-season form added up to nothing. And they went in with a lot of star players missing. Stoneham's gone onto the forward line and straight away look at that. He's played back on Stewie Lowe all day. And at the moment Geelong in front. Stoneham scoreless. He kicks pretty well. Just offline and short. No mark. Riccardi. Simpson goes back to Scott. Goal square job. Shanahan tries to rush it behind. The ball goes out of play. Actually, Barry Stone still playing at centre half back on low, but that was good running by uh, Stoneham to run down there. It really does put pressure on the forwards when a forward or a backman can run as Stoneham did on that occasion. Couch off the left and misses. So that makes the margin three straight goals after St Kilda twice got to within a point. Less than 11 minutes remaining. So the Saints with the job ahead of them now. Shanahan finds Harvey. Is it left half back? Robert Harvey down towards the wing and low the target. Almost the mark. It's been that sort of day for him. Stoneham did well. Hughes with great courage. Head down. Found the ball. Breaks away. Goes for the spiral. Well contest about 20 metres out. Shanahan got a fist on it. Taken by Forsman. Pulls it back across his body. A bit of magic. Well, only fitting that the man who replaced Gary Ablett in the 20 provides something like that. 19-14 to 15-14, and that could clinch it. Well, we've seen some fantastic goals today, and this is the equal of anything. Watch this. A torpedo punt. Forsman will run onto it. Here he is. Now, he's normally a right foot kick. Great snap. Still 10 minutes to go, but four goals is a pretty big lead now. Harvey to Nathan Burke. The kick by Burke to half forward, and it's all coming unstuck. There's Willison taking the mark. Shepard off the ball is pretty rugged. Kick by Willison, and Simpson takes the mark outside of half forward. Simpson against his former team. Mench leads. Simpson goes longer. Mansfield charging at it, but finishes up short, and Taylor takes the mark. 128 plays 104, and we have under 10 minutes to go in the game. Kick by Kane Taylor. Frawley in the centre circle. Punch is good by McGrath. Good discipline play. Here's Peckett. Justin Peckett playing just his second senior game. Willison once more backs himself against Nathan Burke. Leaves him in a cloud of dust. Kick by Willison. Handley works to the front. Can't take the mark. Uses his body well. Clears a path for Scott, who belts his way clear of the tackle. Over the top to Gary Hocking. He's 40 metres out. Standing start. 80 metre kick. 40 up and 40 down. No mark to Mansfield. Mansfield, another chance. Oh. The umpire says you're holding it. Well, either he was holding it or holding the ball earlier, Mansfield, because the player 
the St Kilda player Anderson had hold of him either he was in possession or he wasn't in possession and oh I can't understand that one pretty tough on oh, Mansfield was the only one really working to the ball here's Taylor good player today boots it out wide Morris 19 14 15 14 Darren Burke back to Morris should go again to Peckett some decision eventually he elects to kick through the wing Crawley couldn't hang on it falls behind here's Winmar Winmar paddling it down towards the pocket Riccardi slapped it away Winmar was Winmar. held still it goes Riccardi out of defense Scott and Burke it comes behind them Neil brilliantly had the presence of mind to slap it to the speedster Scott's away run down by Burke but gets the kick off up goes Bingham claiming it behind Handley he kicked a pivotal goal moments ago, but the kick not good. He pulls it back, and up comes Taylor to mark on his chest. Taylor out to Pekin in a bit of space. You might wonder at the end of this day, how come a team that's had more kicks, more tackles, more hit outs, more centre breaks, is going to lose the game of football. That's the story for St Kilda today. McAdams hand pass, looking very tired to Morris. The kick by Morris to centre half forward. Low with Braumas. Brownless has had a shocker. Stoneham, trouble. Well done, Everett. Keep going, son. Oh, pity it wasn't a goal. What an effort for a big fly. Young Everett, playing in his first senior game, has really impressed. Brownless. Neither side would have lost too many fans today. Beacon stood up in the tackle and got it to Devonport, who goes goalward from 50. That's a monster. I think it's a goal. It is. Devonport, I think, has cramped up. That was a terrific goal. 16-15 to 19-14. Well, two goals, two to Devonport. Please, just watch this on replay. Beacon. Big kick. We're doing it again. Just didn't catch him, but he did. Please there he is. A little bit of trouble. He's up. May have cramped up just a little. Greg Devonport's two goals, both in this last quarter. 17 points the margin, so if the Saints could finish three goals to nil, they could get up and pinch it yet. Frawley burst his way clear. His kick through centre half forward. Brown is in front this time. He might have been tripped by Lowe. Certainly got one on the back. He gave him a double whammy. Free kick to Billy Brownness. And he's had ten possessions today, but he got the Bronx cheers. You don't hear that too often at Cadinia Park. Hinkley. Out to centre wing. McAdam in front. Good mark. He's played well. Rolls for distance. This is Devonport. He should have marked it. He slipped his mark and now he's in trouble. Over Stuart Lowe's head. And the decision is going to be a free kick, is it, to the Saints? Devonport's still injured too. He's still limping behind play. Must have been slung out to the tackle. So Lowe's got the free. It's fitting that Lowe is playing on groundless. They can commiserate with each other. They've had terrible days, both of them. Here's Big Stewie. He's kicked one good goal. This will test him. A kick from just inside the 50. Winmar comes on the lead. He ignores that. He goes for distance. Stoneham rises over the top and deflects it through for a minor score. Anderson's gone off force and killed a muscle. Russell Morris has come on. 16 points the difference. Six minutes to go. Brown, this kicks in straight up the ground. Tried to kick it 100 metres, got it about 60. Hocking. Lost it to Harvey. Back to McAdam. The Saints still giving a bit of a yelp. Half volley for our series. Difficult. Oh, he gave it away to Couch. Paul Couch weaves his way clear of the traffic. Onto his favoured left boot. To half forward. Handley in front. Bingham takes it off him. Simpson. Burke. times in the tackle and the free kick goes against hollow quickly taken by Hawking on the bounce bench back he goes to Riccardi he sprints around them 40 meters out Peter Riccardi Ooh, pretty close very stylish player Peter Riccardi and again most left footers are 
St Kilda still within three straight kicks, five minutes to go. McCarty, a goal scoring Rover two, kicked 19 goals in 20 games last season. Grim faced was Ken Sheldon. Couldn't like that much either. As McCallum goes back to Shanahan, but they do clear the zone. This is Burke. He's a left half back. 19 15, 16 16. Inside the last five minutes now, so time the enemy of the Saints. And that ball is out of bounds on the full. Well, it was the kick of a tired man. It's it's Adam's got it. Nothing offering for him. Off the ground, the player is well covered. No movement. Steinem back towards the attacking 50 for the Cats. Simpson, who's been effective in this final term, was high. This is Forsman dragged off it. Simpson again, hurried kick. Now Scott, an opportunity. Will it stay in for him? No, it runs away from him and goes out of bounds. He's kicked four this afternoon, Robert Scott. Boundary throw in, right full forward. Played pretty well, as those figures indicate. Huge pack around this. Hocking number 32. A wrestle for the ball in there. Ablett missing today for Geelong. When you think that uh, Couch hasn't kicked a goal. Stoneham hasn't kicked a goal. They've got him from Mench four, Scott four. Different looking Geelong forward line. Brownless has hardly had a kick, let alone kick a goal. St Kilda free to be taken by Taylor. Very close to the boundary line. Morris, good mark. In he comes to Burke. Ex Danton on player. Up towards half forward. Well, they're really hugging the boundary line. They need three goals in three and a half minutes, and you'd think straight down the middle would be the way to go. Strange game, this one. I suppose if you go looking for the better players on the ground, the best three on the ground, in my mind, as crazy as it sounds, are Saints. If you're looking at Harvey, McAdam, and Winmar. Hawking has taken high advantages, paid steal, long kick through the wing. Morris was up in front. Neil, an opportunity though. He runs to right half forward. Mench wants it pulled back. The kick is very high. Mench battles down there and clears a path for Hickmont. Shoulder to shoulder, Shanahan and Mench. What about the holding of those two? Who was holding who? Too tough for the umpire. They take the easy option a lot of times, the umpires. Well, what are they supposed to do? Hickbot misses to the right-hand side. It's a real tough one, isn't it? Arm to arm. Hickbot should have done better there. 18 points. That's the margin as Shanahan kicks in rather untidily. Darren Burke in trouble, scrambles it towards the boundary line, but the Saints simply aren't doing enough now. It's been quite impressive today, Burke. Very quick getting... Uh put to ball as you saw on that occasion let's hope he can improve at the three changes Geelong leg it led every time by 4 14 and 14 and they now lead by 18 kicked by Gary Hocking across the ground Hickmott spoiled from behind Pekin he goes wide towards the boundary line as well a series with Steele two ex North Melbourne players Darren Steele tunnels the ball towards the line Geelong happy to see the ball out they have the lead and he wins a throw in with two minutes remaining. 130 plays 112. Not too many times last year were Geelong in fine conditions restricted to under 20 goals. 19 goals today. Burke takes the hand pass from Hollow and a short kick is marked by Barnes. He's at centre half back for the Cats. Barnes goes towards the outer side. Handley, after a slow start, has had a pretty good second half. This is Forsman. Back to McGrath, possibly Geelong's best player. Kicks in towards the middle, and Couch. Off the ground for a long period today. Takes the mark, slips over, gets to his feet, and still time to find Handley, who takes it and goes immediately. He's at left half forward. It's a thumping kick down towards the kickoff line. Mench in front. Good mark by the young man. Object lesson for any young player. As the game goes on, the ball is always going to drop. And if you can put yourself in the front position, especially in the last quarter, you'll reap benefit. That's his fifth goal. On 
I suppose when you look at it, he's done pretty well, hasn't he, Minch? He hasn't uh, kicked a point. He's kicked one in every quarter, goals, that is, except the last where he's kicked two. There he is, putting himself in front. Well done. Well, perfect stats. Five marks, five kicks, five goals. Forty-four seconds left on the clock, and the Cats indeed have their 20 goals on the board. Everett. Ball underfoot, hard to get it out of there, but Forsman does. He replaced Ablett in the selected side. And there's a whistle holding before the ball arrived, and the free kick will go to Bingham against Handy. Bingham towards the outer side. Now Siri works to the front, and will take a free against Steele. Mark series kicked three goals in his debut for St Kilda, his third AFL club. But the Saints will go down here, and it'll be a few weeks before they get Grant. Hopefully Lockett will be back next week. Willison marks in defence for Geelong. He's done quite well today after coming up into change. Barry Stoneham. Straight up the centre, looking for Simpson. There's the siren. It's a four-goal win, a 24-point margin for the Cats. They've opened the season with the four premiership points, but for the odds-on favourites they were going into the game, I don't know whether the manner of victory is quite as marked as Coach Malcolm Blight would have liked. They struggled in certain areas. He had forwards playing as defenders and struggling for form. But they got the points, and I suppose that's the main thing. Jared Healy down there. Yes, have Andrew Views here. Well, pretty tough game in the end, Andrew. Always tough against the Hilda, Jared. Doesn't matter where either of us are on the ladder. It's always going to be a good game. And uh, as per usual, it's pretty tough on right to the end. And you form yourself. You're happy with your game. You did quite well. Oh, reasonable first three. And last quarter, probably a little bit quiet, but... Uh, there's always room for improvements along here. Oh, it certainly is. St Kilda just had that run on in the uh, third quarter. Must have been a worry. Yeah, they did. You know, and we really had to... Malcolm has said a few things at three-quarter time, and uh, we tightened up a little bit more and uh, tried to cut a few of their prime movers out. Have a good year. Thanks, mate. So, to the strains of cat attack here at Cadinia Park, the Cats leave the ground. 24-point winners over St Kilda. 2016 to 16-16.